not have this? Mr. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies! Gentlemen, gather round, gather round. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute 
chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, swelling. This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time to take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody get this thing back. I think it's time we relocated our business, John. For Christ's sakes, John, get out of the damn wagon. We may 
need it, John. There's Quavosecca up ahead. My dear boy, you saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, so perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. Uh, you, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to game said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John. It's not too far to Rathskeller Fork. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm. Gap Tooth Breach. Plain View. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. There it is, John! Rathskeller Park! Yeah! 
Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his range or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. They're set. Go! Yeah. Come on. Come on. Let's go! Come on! See you later! Yeah. Hey. Wow! Nice try, mister! conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong?
other doll. I'm gonna die you? alone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, partner, I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart, and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's loves by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. Have a soul. <laughs> I'm sorry, pal. Don't tread on me, sir.
Tough one, ain't you?
find that no good piece of dirt. Thank you. Sorry, sir. Beg your pardon. <laughs> you okay, lady? My husband's missing. These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. Oh, oh my God. If he's gone, then what will I do? We ain't got much money. And I'm with a family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Careful now. It's amazing that bean eater has any teeth left at all. Oh, yeah? Now there's a leading man if I ever... Hello there. What brings a fine specimen like yourself to my humble establishment? Establishment? This place looks like a schoolhouse. Such limited thinking. Have you not seen the future, my friend? We make dreams! Are you not a devotee of the cinematic arts? Arts is what you call it? Granted, I only have a poor imitation of the true Nickelodeon. But that is why I am to build my new film studio and make New Austin with its cheap land and fine climate the second center for the motion picture industry. Hell, a couple good years now we'll be here. I'll produce adventure stories as well as melodramas for the ladies and even some fantastical shorts for children young and old. Heard there's an old ranch ripe for exploitation just north of here. Apparently, the owner is a frequent lover and loser at the liar's dice tables over at Thieves Landing. If you could do me the favor to wrest control from him, I'd reward you quite highly. A career in the arts awaits. I'll see what I can do. Not much of a high-stakes gambler, and movies seem like drivel. Drivel? No, sir. We speak to a man's soul. Listen, if you run into a chap named Spatchcock, tell him to get back to work. Who? Spatchcock. Trained as the finest gunslinger and hero in motion picture history. Then the fool began to believe it was for real. And now he's run off to become a gunslinger, for real. Heard he's in Benedict Point. Fool will have himself killed if you don't help. If I see him, I'll tell him. A producer credit awaits, sir.
planning on building a rail junction up Wade. I'm Herbert Moon! I've just been robbed! You gotta stop him! Looking so fine for you. You think you can get the better of me? These bullets ain't made of candy, mister! You using that note? yourself down there? Great, Par. He'll taste some armadillo justice for sure. It seems all the rail goes these days is drop off more and more corn. Hello, sir. Yes, boy, you, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Mick Cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Here, keep on talking there, Irish. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. <laughs> What's up, boys? Oh, fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boy -o. Look here. This paddy bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, y'all got horses now. 
No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, Boyle? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, Boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. So your mom was too busy putting blisters on her back to get you better? Don't worry, old pal. Hell's better than Wales. A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Uh. All righty, my guardian angel, this way. Come on, then. Let's find this guy. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Get Peter down! Come out! You ain't welcome here, mister. Who the hell are you? Damn! Too close! You ain't outlaws! You're idiots! You asked what did you ask her? It's not here. 
That lion sack of shit! Ah, here we are. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> you got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? <sighs> I'm going to take him back to a nice, quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. Come on! Loitering with the pile of dead bodies ain't exactly the best idea.
Can't wait to get my hands on these. Find some place quiet near Tumbleweed. I got a feeling the treasure's around there somewhere. Day left. No need for the people of Armadillo to see my friends back here. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth. Calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. They're coming after us! Get us out of here! I'm gonna look for the map back here! You try to shake those damn rednecks! Come on, let's get this wagon moving! Move them horses, damn it! Woo! Ho -ho, a bottle of elixir! Thank you, my friend! So, I guess this is goodbye. Are you hiding something from Seth? Oh, you naughty little boy! Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. No need for money where you're going, friend. Sorry there ain't time for a burial, partner. Come on now. Play nice, my lovely. It won't take long. Woo! Somebody needs a new cologne. We gotta go faster, partner! We're sitting ducks. Let's go! Work them horses! Can't you see we're in a rush here? Just going on a little trip. Oh my! Oh my! Is this the quickest you can go? Can't you go any faster? Come on, let's get this wagon moving! I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. 
A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. Seen him at Raskeller Fork. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave themselves medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. <sighs> Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on, man. All right, follow me. Crazy fool. Mercy mission. Ha! So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? No, miss. I was just helping him out. strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. <laughs> he got you good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. Hey there, Lucy. You excited to go back to your special man? Miss, are you speaking of that horse? <laughs> well, Jeb sees something in her, doesn't he? You think he's gonna have flowers waiting for her? There's some things I'd rather not think about. Mister, I gotta thank you. I'm gonna remember this one for a long time. Let's go! Mister! Mister, you found her, mister! Oh, I found her, all right. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so strong, yet such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs>
are my trade. If you shoot some critters and get their pelts, I sure will give you a handsome cut. Sounds like fun.
No good piece of dirt. Thank you.
changed his mind. Here's your horse back. Thank you, sir. I'll pray for you. Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me, and then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs>
Please. I'll do anything. Keep quiet now. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Take me back to that man! Bring him here! Oh my good lord! Please get that man away from me! Uh, uh, hey fella! <laughs> you broke this poor fool's leg, mister! This maniac tried to eat me! We've got cannibals in these here hills! Please help me! What? Please. Fella's gotta eat now! Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please! Please! <laughs> You're making a big mistake, friend! Sorry about this, partner. You're lucky I'm in a good mood.
What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She's always loved these, these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. Plus, she's, she's getting on now in years, and she, it's hard for her to get up and about. So I want to want to bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. Well, I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure, bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? You don't mind, I got a Poetic justice, me, Cornelius Wolf, killing you in a duel. You and me, sweetheart. <clears throat> Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look, don't ask how, but I know what you're about to do, and you don't want to do this. The hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Oh, shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. I guess you're right. I was raised better than this. Don't mention it. Go on now. All right, go. Forgive me, go. miss. I ain't all there today. Truth. Big money to be won right here. I'm sorry to hear that. Nothing better to do. That's more like it. I heard them rustles from Pike's base and we're heading in. I'll make sure I spend the money wisely. 
some odd booze or something. I swear. I'm just a no good son of a whore. That's all I am.
You look like a bullshitter. Master Johnson's been digging around here some. True enough. Sorry about that. You want to look the fool? Howdy. How do you do? Hey, how's it going? Here's my bid. I ain't no bullshitter, amigo. It's all in the eyes, friends. How are you today? Let's play some liars. Them rustlers from Pike's face on the head now. I swear. My husband don't know what she's fucking the hell. The law moves in mysterious ways. The barkeeper around here thinks that we can't taste the water he made. Why, hello. Uh, you looking at me? Thank you.
To Benedict Point, please. You just rest up a spell, mister. I'm the best coachman in these here parts. I'm just going to have a rest. called Spatchcock? Well, who's asking? Who do you think is asking? Listen, partner. You stay cool, or I'll cool you down by putting a hole in you. You've been practicing that line all week, fool? Don't make me come over there and teach you a lesson. Man, I hope you shoot better than you act tough. That fool really will lose some money. Now get up and fight! Go! That's one.
called Spatchcock? Make me late. Jump on in. If you think you can handle it, mister, I'll set the horses to it. I need to go to Benedict Point. Don't you remind me. You get some sleep. I'll get you where you're going. I'm gonna take a nap. See you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Mars.
Captain. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. It gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Not a feller to give up easily, are you? Either we ride together or we don't ride at all. Oh, I love me faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not going to pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right, Miss Raid. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between pear and meddling. Well, you're going to be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. Me intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. Whoa there. Whoa! Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You must be lost, cowboy. This is private property. Come on! 
You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Intruder! Why don't you go get some friends? Even this up a bit!
making a big mistake, friend. Come on! Oh. I'd be looking at your corpse being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. He is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the traitor? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down the road. Meet me at the bottom of the hill! now and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to old west dickens you 
Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. Jimmy, <laughs> I didn't know you were a miner. I'm not, sport. This is the first time that I've ever been underground. But I like getting a preview of being buried. It should be fun, but not funny, what? Your eastern wit is wasted on my dumb western brain, sport. Oh, don't worry, you're not missing much. I'm beginning to think that this article will be better written on a tropical island in the arms of a beautiful maiden. Interesting idea. Now, can we get out of here? Yes, please. Leave it to me now, Sport. I have more adventure and hijinks to procure. Go on. Don't worry about me. My apparent ineptitude is just a comedic affectation. Are you still here for any reason other than my bristling charisma?
called Spatchcock? A witch. Come on, easy now. Getting friendly with me. I heard there's gonna be a new gold rush right here. 